Well, guys, I can't believe it, but the next big update to Minecraft, nobody saw it coming, but <laughs> today, it's here. Over the course of this next however many minutes it is, we're going to dive into all of the juicy brand new Minecraft features in today's snapshot 24W14A. Oh man, now today we kick things off with a banger because finally, after months and months of teasing, it makes sense. Ducks are Minecraft's newest brand new mob and <laughs> listen to him. Uh, okay, well, awkward time for them to be quiet. Yes, yes, so the duck is the newest Minecraft mob. You're going to be able to find this mob spawning inside of forest biomes and ones like it, so like birch forest, and also the river biome across the overworld. If we walk up to a poor duck and take it out, we get a brand new food called raw duck meat. Now, it's interesting. Uh, an interesting turn of events. Mojang said they didn't really want to add like a bunch of random things to the game, but duck meat is essentially going to be the same thing as chicken meat. You can cook it inside of a campfire, on a smoker, or whatever. Oh my god, how long does it take to cook? Oh. Eventually, after cooking it up, you'll be able to consume this food for a tiny bit of hunger. But I don't know if you noticed, the next big thing that I like to show off, they've finally done it. I actually can't believe them for this one. So lately, with Minecraft 1.21, ever since really the addition of the maze, but also ever since the introduction of Minecraft in general, people have always wanted more, and they've finally done it, except kind of strangely, not really in the way that we meant. I guess we should have been more specific, because they've added more tools to Minecraft, however, they're just like different wood variants of the tools. The wood set of tools that nobody touches, so... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Ambiance. If ambiance is what you're looking for inside of a Minecraft update, look no farther because yet another real world mob has made it into the game. Do you hear that thing? Look at that thing, it's adorable and oh my god, <laughs> that thing has so much energy too. The brand new deer mob that you'll be able to find spawning inside of the forest biome. So the deer mob, as you can tell here, it's a little bit shy, kind of just like in real world. If you walk up to the deer, it's going to like kind of like panic and basically try and get away from you. I like the realism. I think it's really cool, but it's an interesting choice of them to add deer to Minecraft. If we're able to like catch up to the deer and swing our sword at it a couple times, we'll find that it has surprisingly, well, like a lot more health than you would think. Uh, unlike the duck, if you take the deer out, you just get raw beef, which I, I'm not sure if that's really how that works. Now, very strangely, quite mysteriously, the change log also states that one should be cautious when encountering the deer in the dead of night. I've tested this out for quite some time now, a couple hours actually, and I can't figure it out. I, I don't know what it really means, but it's very ominous, and occasionally you check that out, it plays a really creepy sound too. Ah, yes, more armor. The Minecraft 1.21, the Trial Chambers update, it's all about combat, and alongside combat, I mean alongside combat armor is a gigantic component of the update as well. This new armor set is so clean looking, like I'm fully suited up for Tekton. It's called a Sasanian Kafarakt helmet. Sasanian Kafarakt body, and then finally some boots right here. It's missing leggings, but Maybe that's because, like, aesthetically, the chest plate kind of hangs down under the legs as well, so... I don't know, maybe they want to try something different with it. Now, not only aesthetically is this stuff so cool looking, but also, actually, mechanically, like, statistically, this stuff is as good as Netherite, or, like, just about as well. Oh, but just you wait, there's more, because we also have some other interesting new pieces of armor as well. This helmet right here is called the Varadgian Guard Helmet. I'm not sure where they're getting these name ideas from, but, I mean, it's another armor set that goes hard. The rest of this armor, interestingly, I guess they're inspired by, like, ancient Greece or something. Maybe you're playing a bit of Fortnite lately, the devs, or something. Because this armor is called Spartan Armor. This other set of armor, it looks so good. If my eyes were set a little bit, like, farther down on my head, it would look even better. But, like, it's cool looking. If one was wondering where one could go about to get this armor, well, of course, it's straightforward. It's brand new Trial Chambers loot. 
it's going to drop each piece 5% of the time. With odds like that, collecting the full set, I mean, that's going to give quite a good use to actually going out to your world and finding the trial chamber, exploring it, and taking it on. Up until this point, I was kind of honestly just feeling like, what's the point with the trial chamber? Like, like heck, even in a single player solo setting, the mace is really overpowered, but there's like no enemies where I actually need to use the thing. And they already deconfirmed a boss for 1.21 as well. So literally, kind of almost, what's the point of the whole update? Well, uh -huh, not any longer. Name tag tricks, ah, little easter eggs. Not only the Minecraft community, but literally everybody in gaming loves a good easter egg or two. However, Mojang on the other hand, no, 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 it doesn't seem like they care about him anymore, unless you are this brand new snapshot. We have a small pig right here. We go ahead and walk up to the pig and look at this, a trip back in a time. Give it a golden apple. So not technically like a name tag trick, but like similar, right? It's an Easter egg. Anyways, you give it a golden apple and it turns into the long removed Pigman mob. OG Minecraft players will remember that this was a mob, a thing inside of the game for a little bit of time. And <laughs> it's so funny. Like it doesn't really do anything. It just walks around and it's like, whatever, a pig, man. But <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious. I love it. It's just like this small attention to detail with this stuff. It's so fun. I am so happy that Mojang isn't overthinking every feature again. Like, finally, we could just have a small Easter egg where we could, like, you know, kind of add a little bit of personalization to our base. Maybe you get these things, give them names like George and Robert, and, yeah, they just live there. It's cool. Ayo, ayo. So far, if you're enjoying this video, this is a quick reminder to tickle that like button down below this video. Please, please, thank you. All right, now next up, they've done it. I don't want to lead you guys wrong or nothing, but stay calm. They, they've <laughs> they finally done it. Low key or maybe high key, I mean, right? Like this update, the snapshot is one of the biggest ones of all time. Our journey today is going to kind of begin inside of the ancient city. We need to look around and maybe not set off the, the screaming shriekers and get the darkness back. I can't see anything. We need to look around inside of this city. Um, <laughs> look left and right center. We got to find the echo shard. And then we got to come here with a netherite ingot as well so you're like all over the world maybe i'll have a little bit better luck over here echo shard yes it shouldn't be that rare so that's pretty cool now that we have an echo shard inside of our inventory kind of like we're making a flint and steel we can make echo and netherite or in other words echoing netherite now with this brand new thing crafted we go ahead and try and use it maybe like soul fire or something no but that would be really really cool instead though the big thing that we're going to want to find here is this ancient portal after crafting this new item, go to the middle. All right, now with this new item, we go to the middle. We're going to have to clear out all of this, like, skulk vein stuff that's in the way. Maybe placing a couple light sources down or two will help you make sure the portal is ready to be activated. As soon as all of the skulk vein is gone, though, you go ahead and remove it and look at this cool animation. We're going to go ahead and light the portal, and immediately all of these souls begin flying out of it. Now, they did say this is a work in progress. Eventually, they're going to have a really hard, cool-sounding sound here. But yeah, the souls are, like, rocketing out of the portal. What in the world have I unleashed? Now, next up, in survival. Now, this is the wild implementation that I don't think anybody saw coming. But in survival, we go ahead and jump up into this thing. Brent's new dimension. The fourth dimension is added to Minecraft. Uh, however, it almost seems like a joke or something. Like, immediately you're sent into this dimension. It looks very similar. And there's a new portal, and that thing is unlit. However, uh, this is basically the underworld of all demons. <laughs> oh, it's bad. <laughs> so right off the bat, we're inside of an ancient city, which means it begins, like, dangerously. You're going to need to move quietly and quickly away from this place. Just like in uh, the normal overworld, inside of this deep, dark dimension, you're going to have Skull Treakers, the Warden, everything like that is going to be bad. Now, you know how the normal deep dark biome works. Oh, and also the fog is really, really dark inside of this dimension. But anyways, you know how it usually works. You're inside of the deep dark biome, but like not forever. It kind of like eventually ends. Maybe like to get out of the deep dark, you could climb up to the surface. Oh, climb up to the surface. This biome, it's almost like lore wise, a trip all the way back in time. Because unfortunately, when it comes to the, the surface inside of this dimension, excuse me, I, uh, well... After a little bit of grinding, eventually, it's inevitable, you make it back up to the surface. However, you're not met with the same, like, comforting green grass block or just nice cows or anything like that. Right now, it's a little bit of a blank canvas with just, like, smoke things all over the place. They did say more stuff is going to come to it soon, including one of the mobs we're going to take a look at later in today's snapshot. But, wow, um, it's basically, like, 
something went wrong inside of this dimension. They trapped it inside of a portal. And what in the world have you done by unleashing it? We go ahead and travel around it. We do have like water forming inside of this biome or dimension, excuse me. But yeah, aside from that, it's basically that that's it. Um, it's just a giant dark evil overworld. I hope you don't set the warden off here. Now, even more dangerously, the only way outside of this dimension is to go back to where you started, which means, oh boy, you better have written down the coordinates of that ancient city. Unlike the nether, you can't just pop a new portal down and leave. You need to work your way back to the start. Back over in the safety of the overworld, this mob is not fully implemented. It only exists with a spawn egg right now, but this thing is called, interestingly, the, the, the blood husk is what it's called. This is going to be a new mob that will, I guess, apparently spawn us out of that dimension. The sound design with this thing is like laughing at me. Listen to it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. And Mojang is going hard with, like, the design of this one. It reminds me of, like, the Dweller that we checked out in this video or this one. Like, if you've seen that recently, like, you kind of know. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know what Mojang is cooking on with this update, but wow. Look at that thing. That's terrifying. I never... Oh, just stop laughing at me. Now, the blood husk. We're going to go ahead and remove it. It makes a terrifying sound. We, we remove it, and then eventually we get an item right there, which is called... Flesh. Um, Mojang? Another weird thing that I found in this snapshot from exploring for a little while is this strange looking altar that almost feels tied to the blood husk. Um, this kind of got like this whole similar red tone, um, and then just like a weird across the log thing. I found this spawning from time to time inside of the plains biome. Like right over here, I've got not one, but two. Uh, but the husk doesn't seem to spawn with it or anything like that. It's just like existing inside of my world. It's very strange. Aesthetically, this thing is beautiful, and it kind of fits in with the whole tinkering side of Minecraft 1.21, but name-wise, <laughs> Big Daddy. What the? Name-wise, Big Daddy, Mojang, King B-Dogs, this is what you've come up with, Big Daddy? You're calling him Big Daddy? What in the world is this thing? I mean, as polished, I guess we see why Mojang has been so low-key for a while now, but we've got Big Daddy, and then alongside Big Daddy, we've got a Little Sister. And this is, like, some disturbing things that I see in the middle of my sleep in the corner of my room. In survival Minecraft, if I go ahead and approach Big Daddy and Little Sister, I don't get... I don't get much going on, and she almost, like, doesn't even care that I'm here, just, like, standing. Oh god, okay. They excuse you. I can hear the angels singing, Mr. B. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, well, I think I've seen enough of you. If you attack them in survival Minecraft, Big Daddy is not very nice. And and the little girl, I don't know why you would do it, but she starts, like, hiding like that. And, oh, no, no. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No, no, it's not good. It changes your FOV. It's part of the combat experience, but I hate it. I hate it. Stop it. Stop zooming me in. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Well, anyways, uh, just, just unwind from that one with the wooden hopper. It's a brand new tinkering thing for 1.21. This thing is literally a hopper, but it just works at half at the normal speed. So you can see the item's going quite a bit slower, and it can only do one item at a time. This is going to be great for item filters and just like... Uh, I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's... Uh, I, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Six is a brand new Minecraft mob that will manifest itself inside of a villages. Now, I've gone ahead and opened up this window so you can see it a little bit better, but usually it's going to spawn inside of a house and kind of just stand there. From the outside, you'll get a hint like with the door, and if you take a look at the door, it's kind of like rotating around and, and, and looking. In a survival setting, say like the dead of night, maybe you find a village and then you find this thing inside of one of the small houses, like you open it up to like, you know, take a nap and it's terrifying. By the way, that's where this thing is gonna spawn. It's gonna spawn by Open beds. It's gonna spawn by beds inside of villages. Now, he also has some strange dialogue. You. Open your eyes. It has some strange dialogue and seems to want to follow me as well. However, when I stand there and it like reaches up to me, it doesn't really do anything. It's seemingly harmless, just like insanely, insanely creepy. I think they need to like let King B Dogs like um what the uh, they need to get King B Dogs away from the developmental tools. I think this is another one of his creations, and I I hate it. I absolutely hate Minecraft 1.21.
<laughs> I'm done with it. Ah, yes, the Mushroom Island biome. It's a safe biome, right? <laughs> well, wrong. Safe no more. Now for this one, you're hardly gonna believe me. In fact, I don't even know how Mojang got the usage rights for this one, but I would like to present you Sonic.exe. Now, I'm not sure what they're doing with the naming of this mob. This one in particular, it sounds like a program. In your world, in the background, from time to time, you'll see this new mob spawn. It's called Sonic.exe. Inherently, instinctually, it likes to live inside of the Mushroom Islands biome, which is like a very weird choice, but I think aesthetically, color-wise, maybe it kind of is valid. It's a vibe. In survival Minecraft, I don't know why they added this. He sees me. Yeah, he sees me! He sees me. You know, I don't even care anymore. Whatever. That wasn't supposed to scare me anyways. Also, as part of this update, Minecraft is adding Mr. Beast to Minecraft. He'll spawn inside of your world and actually just walk around and give you a random challenge. Like, lock you inside of a room for 100 days for like three or four emeralds. Anyways, <laughs> gotcha. Check the calendar and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.